Come for the bread, the politics. I'm Ben Walsh, and this is Let Them Eat Bread. Welcome back to Let Them Eat Bread, and thank you to all the people who wished me well last week. Uh, apologies that there was no show. Uh, I was under the weather for the better part of a week, and I didn't really have any energy. Plus, I was kind of gross, so we really didn't want me baking bread anyway until I was fully recovered. So thank you guys for understanding. Just a quick bit of housekeeping. There will be no show next weekend uh, in observance of International Holocaust Memorial Day. Um, I fast during that day, and so I won't be filming. Um, but there won't there won't be a show that week, but there will be uh, a show the week after, which is the first weekend of February. So we will have brand new topics to talk about and a uh, brand new bread recipe to bake on that day. But in the meanwhile, I was really craving toast this week, so I wanted to take it back nice and simple. Um, simpler even more so if you have a standing mixer, which is what I'm gonna be using today, just to make it super simple, super easy. Let's make bread super easily, right? If we can if we can make it, and by the way, we only have, re we really only have four ingredients for this bread. We have yeast, salt, sugar, and flour, and, and, and water, sorry, five ingredients. <laughs> ah, that's embarrassing. Anyway, all you really need is those five ingredients. You can do this by hand um, if you really want to. I'm gonna be using a standing mixer just because it's making my life a little easier. And we're gonna have two lovely uh, loaves in your bread tins. Now, a quick note, if you don't have bread tins, that's totally okay. You can make this as a free form. The only thing I'll say is you just need to be really careful about shaping your free form loaf. Or if you have another dish that you wanna use, for example, like um, a pie dish or a baking dish, you can kind of make some impromptu uh, bread tins with those. So just make sure whatever device you're using, um, whatever whatever you're using to shape your loaves in any kind of way, just make sure it's thoroughly uh, buttered so uh, or, or lubricated with oil, just so you, you know the bread doesn't stick to it when it bakes. All right, guys, that's it for the intro. Let's get started. All right, first thing you're going to do is you're gonna take half a cup of your water and put it into a small mixing bowl with a lid. Next up, we are going to take our sugar and just put that in to the same bowl, to all of our sugar. Next up, we are adding our active dry yeast to the mix. Then we are going to give this a quick whisk with a fork just to get the sugar incorporated and then we're gonna cover and set aside for five minutes, just like so. Now, during the five minutes, you can do a number of things if you want, or you can just wait for it to rise. You'll know it's done because there'll be a layer of foam on the top of the yeast mixture. Next up, we are adding our flour to our mixing bowl here, and we are going to add our salt as well. Once you add the salt, be sure to spend some time making sure that the, uh, the salt and the flour get to know each other pretty well. Uh, on screen, Ben, you you look like you're really struggling there. You, you good? Okay, we're good. All right, so you're going to let that uh, combine for about 30 seconds or until thoroughly combined, whichever you see fit. After that, we are going to add in all of our water, but add the water without the yeast mixture first. So add the water in first, and then right afterwards, you're going to add your water and yeast mixture. Now, once it's added, you are going to uh, stir these together uh, to get a, a shaggy dough, or if you're using a standing mixture like I am, until the dough really comes together. Now, this is like kneading on a board, right? So add flour as necessary and scrape down the sides of your bowl if you're doing this as a bowl to make sure that all of the dough is getting worked. You'll know it's done because you'll have a, a, a nice uh, tacky but not sticky dough for you to uh, manipulate. Now that you have your dough, we're going to put it in a, to a, an oiled or buttered bowl and cover it with foil and a towel and then set our timers so that it can rise in peace. All right, we have finished making our dough. It is in uh, the warming drawer. If you don't have a warming drawer, don't worry about it. Just put your bread somewhere. It's going to be nice and warm or at least room temperature, provided the room is, is between uh, 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So that being said, I've already set a timer for about an hour. Um, I'm probably not gonna talk through the whole hour, so just make sure that you've set your timers for an hour and come back to your bread in about an hour, or more importantly, when it's doubled in bulk. If for whatever reason it gets there before an hour, that's fine. Just make sure you're checking on it so that you don't it doesn't overproof, because if it overproofs the first time or the second time, um, it, can, it can make your bread come out not the way you want it to. All right, so we're gonna talk about some political subjects. If you're sticking around, great. We'll be back with that in just a minute. If you're not, I'll see you in about an hour. Either way, we're about to get going. 
and let me just grab a quick spill water and we'll get to our topics. All right, now that our dough is back out of proofing and mine was still a little t uh, sticky, so I am going to be using flour on my hands to kind of get this into a nice ball shape. You're gonna need it for a couple seconds, add a tiny bit more flour if you really need to, if it's really uh, soft and fluffy like mine. And then after that, we are gonna divide our dough into two equal pieces. One, one of mine is bigger than the other. And next we are going to shape them. So the first way I'm shaping it is to essentially roll it out like a log and that's our first uh, way of shaping it but there's a second way that I'm about to show you in just a second so that goes in and then next is going to be kind of a more traditional rolling shape so you're going to pat it down into a circle and then once you've patted it down into a circle and it's kind of as flat as you want you want to take the sides and fold them in so that you have uh, two curved edges and a round edge and just roll it up uh, like a log and then put that in that's your second way to do now we're going to cover these with a uh, wrap that you should oil I forgot to and towel and let them set for an hour before scoring as appropriate chucking in an oven at 400 degrees for 35 to 55 minutes all right guys that is all for this week thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, throw a like on it, share with your friends, and subscribe for more of our content. You can also find all of our videos and clips on YouTube.com. Just search Let Them Eat Bread, and you'll find all of our content. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye for now.